Hello learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. We have been learning lot of grammar. This is the sixth part of time and tense in the series grammar in context. We learnt in the last lesson present perfect continuous, we are learning the contrast of this past perfect continuous. Part 6, come on let us get into the world of grammaring that is like listening, speaking, reading, writing, you are going to develop the skills in the use of grammar. Part 6, past perfect continuous. Learners with you, Kriti and me, we will together discover how present perfect continuous is used. Okay. Kriti, we know that we have been dealing with grammar for so quite some time in almost four, four five parts now this is the sixth part. So, let us get into the uh, activity. We have seen present perfect continuous in the last lesson. Uh, Let us begin with some activity. Kriti is going to read out for you learners. Here are the sentences. So, to recall what we have learnt and move forward. Come on. Sure, sir. Here are some sentences in present perfect continuous. Let us read them. They have been playing hockey since morning. Shankar and his friends have been working on a mathematics problem for the past three weeks. Rahim has been leading the team for last 10 years. So, there are three sentences. So, let us read again. They have been playing hockey since morning. morning. So, we have seen in present perfect tense Akriti and the learners there an action which began in uh, the past and it continues. continues. So, you may wonder I said we will do today past perfect continuous, but I am I am showing you we are giving the examples of present perfect, present continuous. perfect continuous. So, there is some contrast. Let us contrast. We have learned present perfect continuous. So, we are seeing exactly the okay. action in the past. Okay. Okay. So, before we get into past perfect sentences, let us know the objectives of this lesson. Kriti, will you read out? Sure, sir. Yeah. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to understand time and tense, use past perfect continuous in context, discover the forms, past perfect continuous tense forms and use it in speech and writing appropriately. So, we will learn past perfect continuous tense today. Fine. So, learners, these were the objectives. Now, as we do in all the grammar lessons, let us get into action. Let us discover something through actions. So, Kriti, here are the sentences for the learners to notice. So, let us read out for them. Let us read the following sentences. I lived in a village in 1990s. I was a student then. I had played a lot of cricket when I was in school. I have been living in this city since 2000. I had been studying in this school during the 1990s. He had been playing for the Indian team for decade. Vandana had been working as a manager in the company when I was growing up in this village. They had been fighting the war during the 1939 to 44. People had been working hard to make this country grow. Fine. Kriti yes, and sir. learners there, the first sentence, I was a student then, I studied in a village school in 1990s, long past. When did it happen? In the past, it, long it, past. It occurred in the past and it was over. Yes. Now, he is no longer studying in that school. I was a student then. Then, he says he had played a lot of cricket when he was in school. We do not know whether he is playing now, but he, as a student he was, he played. Now, look at the fourth sentence. I have been living in this city since to the year 2000. So, we have seen in present perfect continuous, started living in 2000 and continuing till now. But let me take you to the contrast. Look at the sentence 5, 6, 7, 8. So, Kriti will read again. Come on, read again. Sure, sir. Mm -hmm. 
I had been studying in this school during the 1990s. He had been playing for the Indian team for decade. Vandana had been working as a manager in the company when I was growing up in this village. They had been fighting the war during 1939 to 1944. That was the Second World War. People had been working hard to make this country grow. Fine. Learners, notice the underlined words, phrases in these sentences. What is that? Had been studying. Studying. Then? Had been playing. Yes. Had been working. Oh, yes. Had been fighting. And had been working. Okay. So, what does it mean? They were all happening in past. In the past. But for some some longer some period. And we refer to a particular time that in the past the action was in progress. Now, let us do some more. I am going to ask you some questions. Learners, it appears on the screen, these sentences. So, let us see. Here are the sentences. I am going to read out first Kiriti and the learners, you will be, I am going to ask you some questions after having read each sentence. Okay? Ravi had been working for 10 hours in his youth. When was he doing the work? He was doing the work in the past. Past, when but he continuously. Was okay. They had been making progress in their business in the 1990s. When did the action start and when did it end? The action started in the 1990s, that is in the past okay. and it is still continuing. No, it is not still continuing, it was continuing for some time. Okay. So, they had been making progress in the business 1990s. Between 1990s, something happened. So, we are referred to a particular time which was continuing in the past. So, now let me ask you to answer the questions. Let me say the sentence first. They had been making progress in their business in the 1990s. Okay? Yes, sir. When did it start? It started in the past. In the 19, 1990s. Somewhere in the 1990s. Yes. And it was continuing sometime. When did it end? In 1990s, in the 90s. only. Okay, yes. fine. Now, the team had been securing the highest points with these young members in the past. Okay? The government has been making announcements for the people to follow when cyclone hit the coast. coast. When was the announcement made? For a long time? In the, in the past. past. Okay. Now, fifth sentence, will you read out? Sure, sir. Miss Shriya had been teaching in our school when I was in my high school. So, it was not that she was teaching for once, once she taught and went. She was teaching for a longer some period. longer time in the in past. In the past. So, learners. What are we doing in past perfect continuous? Let us look at the kind of rule. It appears on your screen. Will you read out for them? Sure, sir. Hmm. Past perfect continuous is used to refer to an action which began before a certain point in the past and continued up to that time. Up to that time, we talk about. Suppose we say, she had been teaching in the school when I was in the school. It started in the past and till the time we refer to. What is the time we uh, point we are saying? I was in school for a long time. Okay. Say, uh, let us look at the sentences again. There are three or four sentences for you. Look at the screen, it appears. Kriti is reading out for you. Hmm. The company had been selling the bread at the point of time for five years. The team had been winning all the matches when we were in the university. Fine. Mr. Selvam had been teaching in our school at that time. Fine. So, look at those had been teaching, had been selling, had been winning, past perfect continuous. And we refer to a continuous action which started in the past and of course ended, but we are referring to a point in between point. Let us explain that on the board. Say that visually we will explain. Kriti, Sir? can you please write, I had been studying in the school during the 1990s. They had been fighting the war during 1939 to 1944, third one. People had been working 
hard to make this country grow. Learners, Kriti. Yes, sir. Let us underline those uh, past perfect forms. Had been fighting, had been studying, fine. Had been working, fine. Yes, sir. Okay. We know that all these happening in the past time. So, right past. Then, of course, this is present and this is future, fine. So, I had been studying in the school during 1990s. Past is what? Let us write 1990. When 1990s means 92, 99. Okay. Uh, when did the action begin here? Past, in the past. In the past, but in 1992, sometime in the it ended in the past itself. Yes. Sir. But we are referring to the speaker here is referring to some point here. I had been studying in the school. Yes, sir. The same way they had been fighting the war. Let us say uh, 1939, you write, 1944, Second World War. So, we are referring to a particular point of time here, somewhere. They had been fighting the war. Yes, sir. So, the same way people had been working hard to make this country in the past. So, somewhere we are referring, they had been working here. Now, we are fine. We have to work hard. So, an action which happened in the past, past but, but quite some time. And then also ended in the past. Past, but we are referring to a time when it was in progress. Okay, So, sir. that is past perfect continuous. Okay, sir. Well, learners, as we have demonstrated on the board, whiteboard, past perfect continuous refers to an action which took place in the past, but it was for a long, quite some time, the speaker refers to a particular point in the middle. So, for example, I had been studying in the school during 1990s. 90s begins with continues up to 1999. So, period the speaker is referring to and at that time the action was in progress. So, let me read out the three sentences which we analyzed. I had been studying in the school in during 1990s. They had been fighting the war during 1939 to 1944, the second world war. Then people had been working hard to make this country progress, country good, grow. That means for quite some time people were, they had been working. So, this is how past perfect continuous is expressed in speech and writing to convey meaning, specifically a continued action in the past. Learners and as well as you, Kriti, we have some uh, uh, tasks for you. So, some sentences with past perfect and one more form of the verb, you will have to choose between the correct ones. Okay, it is not only past perfect continuous, some other context also is there. Okay? Okay, sir. Let me read out first one. Our country has been making or had been making progress since we got our independence. What is that? Hmm. Our country has been making progress since we got our independence. Okay. This is present perfect, present continuous. perfect continuous. It tense. continues still. Okay. She has been writing or had been writing to the government for her scholarship and could not make it till the end. She had been writing to the government for her scholarship and could not make it till the end. Because it was it over was in, in the, the past. past. Okay. Kevin has been playing or had been playing for the team when it lost all its matches. Kevin had been playing for the team when it lost all its matches. Very good. He has been quite lo for some time in the past. past. Okay. Indian team has been doing or had been doing during 2000 to 2010. Indian team had been doing during 2000 to 2020. Fine. Okay. It has been or it had been raining for the past three hours. It has been raining for the past three hours. Still continuing. Still continuing. Okay. The members have been demanding or had been demanding, the members have been demanding or the members had been demanding a meeting with the chairperson at the time of demonstration. 
the members had been demanding a meeting with the chairperson at the time of demonstration. Fine. Learners, past perfect as we explained on board also, an action started in the past, continues, was continuing. We are referring to a particular point of time. Okay, now, here is another activity for us. This is an integrated manner, not only past perfect continuous or any other particular form altogether. Let me read out, you will have to choose between two options, the appropriate options to complete the, the paragraph. Let me read out whole passage first, then we will come to that. Okay, sir. Vishal studied in a village school. He had been doing or he has been doing well when he completed his high school. He is or he was in the university college now. He has been playing or he had been playing for his university team. His parents had been working or have been working very hard during his school days to send him to the university. He has been proving or he had been proving worthy of their son. Come on. Now, Kriti will choose the appropriate form, then learners you also choose that, then let us notice the present continuous or past perfect continuous or any other form. Some present and past also is there. Come on. Kriti. Vishal studied in a village school. He had been doing well when he completed his high school. Great. He is in the university college now. He has been playing for his university team. Fine. His parents had been working very hard during his school days to send him to the university. He has been proving worthy of their son. Very good. So, Vishal is a, a very good um, son of the parents. So, look at learners has been, has been, had been are used in different contexts. His, his parents had been working hard. He has been playing for the university. So, continuous actions. I think I need not explain, we need not explain uh, anymore. So, so learners, let us notice the, discover the rules of past perfect continuous. It is with you. Come on, Kirti, read out uh, to them. Sure, sir. Hmm. Past perfect continuous is used to refer to an action which began before a certain point in the past and continued up to that time. Fine. Meaning, an action which started in the past and continued, continue. we are referring to in between time. Fine. Now, let us also compare this with present perfect continuous. Come on, look at it. Read out. Present perfect continuous is used to refer to an action which began at some time in the past and is still continuing. Okay. We, we can demonstrate very well, uh, present continuous started in the past, still continues. Past perfect continuous started in the past, continuing and, and ended, ended in, the, in past. the past, but we are referring to in between time. This is how some more activities for you learners in order to understand better past perfect continuous. I am going to read out some more activities. Look at the screen, Kriti is answering along with you. Let me read out one after another, you will be answering them. Okay, sir. The driver has been driving or he is driving since morning, he needs to stop and rest for a while. The driver has been driving since morning, he needs to stop and rest for a while. The soldiers had been fighting or have been fighting hard to win the second world war. The soldiers had been fighting hard to win the World War II. We have been noticing or we had been noticing a good development in industrial sector. We have been noticing a good development in industrial sector. Gandhiji had been advocating or has been advocating peace and non-violence during the freedom struggle. Gandhiji had been advocating peace and non-violence during the freedom struggle. The train has been running or the train had been running for the first 12 years. 
the train has been running for the past 12 years. Very good. My father has been advising or my father had been advising me to buy a house. My father has been advising me to buy a house. My mother had been supporting or my mother has been supporting me at that time when I lost my job. My mother had been supporting me at that time when I lost my job. Very good. Learners, we know the difference now. So, let us understand the time sense. We should get the time sense. What is happening? When it is happening? And who is the speaker? And what time we refer to? So, all our actions are related to time. I did this yesterday, I am doing this and I will do it. So, let us understand the time frame past, present, future. Within this, there are four kind of in English language, speech, writing, context. We have four within each context, four times. The exact time, present tense, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect, like that past, future. This is what we need to understand. We need not worry too much about the rules of grammar, but we should know how to use it. Learners, we have learned past perfect continuous, of course, in contrast with present perfect continuous and many other forms. So, let us also tell you the learning outcomes of this lesson, so that the parents, teachers will be able to know what the learners are expected to achieve. We started with objectives and here are the learning outcomes. Kriti is there to tell you. Sure, sir. Learning outcomes of this lesson. Learners, speak and write grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations using noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, determiners and tenses forms. Learners, Kriti, we have come to the end of this lesson, pause perfect continuous. So, we have come to the close of this lesson, pause perfect continuous. We have done some activities, we have discovered the rules and the forms of how past perfect continuous is used and referred to the past action. So, learners, lot of grammaring, we do a bit more in the forthcoming parts. So, this is the end of part 6, past perfect continuous. We will do future tense in parts 7 and 8. Thank you very much for having participated in all the activities and let me also thank you Kiriti thank you uh, so for, much actively, sir, for having uh, me yeah, actively participating. So, let us do some more grammaring in the forthcoming future parts. Thank you very much. Thank you.